Today, I'm sharing the top 17 air fryer accessories and how to use them. I'll let you know which ones I think are a must have, which ones are nice to have, and which ones I think are a waste of money and space. Then stay tuned to the end because I have one piece of advice that just might surprise you. By the way, you probably have a lot of these in your kitchen already. Yay! Hey, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kathy from FabulouslyFrugal.com and I love sharing simple and easy air fryer recipes and air fryer tips with you. You might have already discovered how awesome it is to cook with an air fryer. In most cases, it's a lot faster, plus it just makes cooking so much fun. Then when you start adding in the right accessories, you'll be able to do so much more with your air fryer. And as you watch this, I'm curious to know if you use any of these and if you use them differently or if there's something I totally missed. Let me know down in the comments below. You in? Let's go. First, I'm sharing my top seven must-have accessories. But before we start, I have one tip for you. Measure the interior dimensions of your air fryer basket. When you find something you think will work in your air fryer, you'll know instantly if it will actually fit inside of it. I'm using my Kasori 5.8 quart air fryer as I show you all of these accessories. The dimensions of that basket is nine by nine with a three and three quarter inch height. So just keep that in mind as I show you these 17 accessories. Number one, an instant read meat thermometer. When you're following a recipe, the actual cooking time could vary a little bit because all air fryers are slightly different. Using an instant read thermometer takes the guesswork out of your cooking with the air fryer because you'll know exactly when the meats and baked goods are done. I have a free download where I've listed out all of the internal temperatures for all the different meats and all the different types of baked goods. Plus I have 15 air fryer tips on that exact same download that you can just hang on your fridge for an easy point of reference and reminders to everyone in the home who's using the air fryer. So just click on that link below and I will email that to you right away. The pros to having an instant read thermometer, it can be used for so many other things besides just what you're cooking in your air fryer. The cons, I can't even think of one. It's such a great tool to have in the kitchen. Number two, silicone spatulas and tongs and turners. You probably already have things like this in your kitchen. Since the majority of air fryers have that non-stick coating inside, you want to only use accessories that are not gonna scratch or damage that coating. Coating. Silicone is an excellent choice because it's heat resistant up to 600 degrees and it won't scratch the coating or melt. Pros to having these, it's versatile and can be used every day in your kitchen, not just for your air fryer. The only cons I found so far is sometimes these silicone tongs can get a little bit slippery when I'm using them to pull dishes out of the air fryer. Number three, a spray bottle. You probably saw me talking about this in my air fryer 101 video or my top 12 air fryer mistakes video. As a quick recap, you just don't want to use any aerosol spray inside of your air fryer fryer. Instead, get a bottle and buy some high quality oil that's healthy and has a higher smoke point. I've been using this Evo brand of oil sprayer for a while and I just recently purchased some other sprayers and misters to test them out and see if I like them better. The pros of the oil spray, it's replaced the aerosol cans in our home and it's a healthier option for cooking and we can use it in so many other ways. The cons, there is an upfront cost. Over the long run, it does save money and sometimes when I spray, it shoots into a stream instead of a mist. That's why I'm testing out these other sprays. I will link to those as well below. Number four, a heat resistant surface. Even if you have granite countertops, I would protect your investment and use something in between your air fryer and your countertops just to protect it. I just use this wood cutting board because I can use it for other things as well. And it looks cute in the kitchen. Pros, it looks cute in my kitchen and has lots of uses. Cons, some cutting boards are super expensive, but you can definitely find some affordable ones too. Number five, Heavy duty foil. There are two great ways to use foil in your air fryer. When I'm baking, I like to cover up the breads and cakes to keep them from burning because they're so close to that heating element. You can also use foil to make a sling. It's great for lifting things out of the air fryer. But there are a few warnings with foil. Make sure you leave enough room for airflow, so don't spread foil all the way across the bottom of the basket. You need that air to flow so the food can cook properly. And of course, you do need to be careful as you lay it down and move it in the air fryer because after time, it could start damaging the coating in your air fryer. And lastly, make sure you secure the foil. If you have it down, make sure you have enough food holding it down. Or if you have it covering food, make sure you secure it tightly to the dish. The fan inside of the air fryer is powerful and could lift the foil up into the heating element and that would cause a lot of problems. The pros to using foil in your air fryer, you likely already have some in your kitchen. The cons, if you're not careful, it could start wearing down the non-stick coating inside of your air fryer. Number six, oven safe pans or dishes. Using an oven safe dish open 
opens the doors to baking. Things like pies, casseroles, cakes, quiche, even bread. A few things to keep in mind when you're looking for dishes for your air fryer. First of all, obviously it needs to fit in the air fryer, not only width-wise, but height-wise. You'll see this was made for the air fryer. It has a little handle and it's easy to pull in and out of the air fryer. But you can also use cake pans, anything that's oven safe. I even use my nice Pyrex glass. You just wanna make sure you have a nice high quality glass so it doesn't shatter or anything in your air fryer. As long as it's oven safe and fits inside your air fryer without restricting flow, you can use it. The pros, I already have these in my kitchen. The cons are sometimes it's challenging to remove these right from the air fryer unless it has a handle. Number seven, a microfiber cloth. No, this does not go inside of your air fryer. A wet microfiber cloth and some Dawn dish soap work wonders with your air fryer basket. You never wanna use anything abrasive that's gonna scratch or harm the coating. Microfiber is nice and soft and does a good job of getting those layers of grease and oil off the sides of the basket. It's also great for wiping down the exterior and the interior. Pros, I can use this daily in my kitchen. Cons, none. Okay, those are the seven must-have accessories. Now I have eight more that are nice to have but not needed, and I'm gonna show you different ways to use them. Number eight, silicone molds and cups. Now you definitely don't need these, but I really do enjoy using them for things like meatloaf bites or brownie bites or pancake bites, little egg omelet cups and cupcakes and muffins. Any of these will work in these cute little silicone molds or the silicone cupcake liners. The pros, they can be used in your Instant Pot as well, plus they add some fun interest to your foods that you're cooking. The cons, I have found with the silicone bites pans that usually the center mold doesn't cook as thoroughly as the outer circles. Number nine, these silicone oven mitts. Now you can use a hot pad or a towel to lift hot things out of the air fryer. But I do like these silicone mitts because they're thinner so it's easier to get your fingers in between the air fryer and the pan that you're pulling out. I actually got these with an Instant Pot set that I bought a couple years ago, but you can also find these on Amazon and some air fryer accessory kits include these. Pros, they can be used for so much more than just the air fryer. I also like using them for holding my Instant Pot and stirring. The cons to this, like I mentioned, some are poor quality. I also don't recommend using them for holding some something hot for a super long time. Number 10, air fryer skewers and rack. Every air fryer accessory kit that I see on Amazon includes this rack. Not only is this a fun way to make kebabs in your air fryer, the rack itself can add another layer of cooking space to your air fryer. There's a one and a half inch rise here, and on the other side, there's a one inch rise. So with this one and a half inch rise, you could cook some kebabs and then maybe some more veggies underneath it, or how about some fries on the bottom and fish sticks on top, or maybe even a hamburger patty or two with some fries on top. Do you have this accessory? I'm curious to know how you're using it. Just be aware that the more food you have in your air fryer, the more airflow restriction there could be. So it might cook a little unevenly. You also might need to rotate the food so the things on the top don't block the foods on the bottom. The items on the top will also cook faster because they're closer to the burner. Pros, it could add more cooking surface to your air fryer. Cons, it's not really useful anywhere else in my kitchen and is a little bit bulky to store. Number 11, ramekins. They are the these cute little ceramic dishes that fit perfectly inside of an air fryer. They make cute little cakes or cookie cups. I've used them for baking eggs and I've even used them to make cute little individual sized bread loaves. Pros, they have lots of great uses in my kitchen plus my air fryer. Cons, sometimes they're a little bit more challenging to clean and they could be a little challenging to get out of the air fryer at times. Number 12, the pizza pan. You'll find this one in a lot of air fryer accessory kits. Fits very nicely into the air fryer and it can be used of course for making pizza pizza or a pizzuki, fried eggs, pancakes, and just about anything that you need to contain. You could likely also find a shallow cake pan or dish and use it in your air fryer for the exact same purpose. Pros, it contains the food and it has a nice non-stick coating to make cleanup a breeze. Cons, I can't really think of any other ways to use this outside of the air fryer. Number 13, a mandolin slicer. This is great to have to prepare the food that you're going to cook in your air fryer. You can perfectly slice foods like potatoes or sweet potatoes or apples, anything that you wanna roast in your air fryer so it cooks nice and evenly. The pros to having this is that there's so many other ways to use it in your kitchen. The cons, not really any, but you could also just use a knife and eyeball it and try your best at slicing fairly evenly. You may already have something like this in your kitchen. And this is nice for brushing oil on your food that you wanna be more careful about evenly coating. I also like to use it for brushing the inside of my pans, but you could also use a paper towel for that or even your fingers. Pros, there's multiple uses for this in your kitchen. Cons, none. Number 15. 
parchment paper. Air fryer parchment paper is a heat resistant paper that has little holes in it so it doesn't constrict the airflow and foods can cook nicely and evenly in your air fryer. You can also buy some parchment paper and punch holes in it if you really want to, but I personally don't think it's really worth the time. I probably only pull out parchment paper a fraction of the time that I'm using the air fryer. I like to use it if I've got something really messy or if I'm using like shredded cheese that will likely fall out. It just makes cleanup a little bit easier and that's really the only reason for it. If you do use this, you do need to make sure you have enough food weighing it down. You can see her the other day, my little girl, we just warmed up a sandwich for her and set it right down in the middle of the parchment paper and the edges of the paper blew up into the heating element and started to burn. So <laughs> just be careful with the parchment paper. Make sure you have enough food weighing it down so it doesn't fly around. The pearls, it can make cleanup a little easier in the air fryer. Cons, it's just an added expense that you maybe don't need to invest in. Lastly, I've got three air fryer accessories that you really don't need. Unfortunately, they do come in a lot of air fryer kits. Now this one I debated about. It's a little grabber dilly. It feels a little mm, not quite secure. If there's not enough room in the air fryer, you can't even get this around the edges. It does work decent for this pot, but again, if you have a towel or oven mitts, they'll work just fine to pull these out. Next, the bread rack. This is also included in a lot of air fryer kits, and I just haven't found a lot of use for it. You could put some bread in it, but it puts the top of the bread really close to the heating element, so it kind of cooks unevenly. The only other thing I've seen cooked in this is like frozen hash browns, but I wouldn't put them in every single slot because there's not enough room for air circulation. So maybe if you fill them every other slot, that would be okay. But I have yet to find a great, wonderful use for this. If you have found one, let me know. Otherwise, it really is just taking up space in my kitchen. And then you've got the metal holder. They call it a metal holder. This is also in a lot of air fryer assessments kits and I don't quite see the point of it. If you cook on top of this, you lose a lot of surface space in your air fryer basket. You could use it to set a pot on top of, but I don't see the point in that. Let me know if there's a great reason for it. There's not much of a rise, so you can't really use it as a layering rack. Pros? I don't even know. Cons? It seems like a pointless thing in my kitchen. I told you at the beginning that I had some surprising advice for you. Well, here it is. If you're just getting into an air fryer, do not spend a bunch of money into air fryer accessories. I would for sure have those top seven items in your kitchen, most especially the meat thermometer and the oil sprayer. But as a new air fryer user, take some time to figure out how your air fryer works. Experiment with it, get to know it, start using it. And then once you're comfortable with it, make a list of the recipes you'd like to try and then see if there's any accessories that you need to buy in order to make those recipes happen. If you need some air fryer recipe inspiration, I have a playlist full of recipes right here for you. I'll also link to them down in the notes below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.